All right, here we are. We're going to start learning the game. We've done all the preparation. We've done a couple other exercises to lead us up to this. So the first and most important thing that you're going to do is to smile and have fun because this is a game. Just like playing Monopoly with your kids or with your family members or playing Scrabble, that's what we're going to do. So me and my son and the other folks that are here, we're going to start playing the game and we're going to take it one little step at a time. So, and if you're not smiling and laughing inside of about two minutes, you're doing something wrong. You got to go and enjoy yourself. All right, so we're going to go red to red. Does it make any difference which hand starts? We could do right to right, left to left. It doesn't make any difference as long as we touch red to red. And red means hand. We're just substituting the word red for hand so that we have something to identify it with. So we're going to start red to red. We have green. Green is a shoulder. Our green stripe here, this is indicating our shoulder. Green is a point. And points, when we get to the self-defense aspect, are going to be hits. Well, we're going to refer to them as points because we're playing the game. And that's how we're going to learn this, just by playing the game. So we go red to red. So I'm the first player. I'm going to go for green and first just let the player get the point with green. Now, once I get my point, you're going to go to move the hand or red off. You're going to go for a point. We go to green. I'm going to go remove and try to go for a point. I go to green. We're going to remove the red or the hand. Now we're going to start. That's kind of simple. So we're going to make it a little harder for you. As my son goes for green, I'm going to try and stop his hand or the red before it gets to green. Now he's going to go for whichever is closer, red or green. Since he's touched, he's going to go for green. He goes for green, I go for the red, I move it away. He's going to go for red at the same time, I go for green. I go for red, same time he goes for green. Now what we're doing is we're starting to exchange with each other. I'm trying to get a point, but he stops me from getting the point. He tries to get a point, but I stop him from getting the point. As we start to go, there's no wrong technique. This is supposed to be fun. It's a game. You can do this with all different age people. You can do it with your son or your daughter. You can do it with your grandmother, your grandfather, your aunt, your uncle. It doesn't make a difference. Try it with your friend. And remember, as you start to go, go slow. You don't have to go fast. Keep the pace really slow and even, and you're going to find that you're going to start to get point. And that's the whole point of the game is to get a point. That's your objective is to get a point. So when the person gets a point, let them have it. As you start to get a little bit better and you start to get the flow a little more, what do we start to do? We start to pick up the pace. There's no wrong technique. You can't make a mistake. The only time you make a mistake is when you get a point. And remember, smile when you get a point because that's fun. Right? Now I get this. I smile. I go. I go. We're picking the speed up. Now we start to go a little faster. We're exchanging. The better you get, the harder it is to get the point. And that's the point, besides having fun. And that is the easiest level of the game. Everybody back? Everybody ready? A little more? Yep. Smiling? Yep. Fun? <laughs> Don't laugh. See? Okay. Not until you start. Why's your hand? We added the yellow this time. The yellow means from the wrist to the elbow. And of course, green is our point or the shoulder. So we're going to do the same thing we did at the last level. We're going to try to, though, this time add red to yellow. So you're going to be with your opponent like we had in the past, right, your other player. We're going to start red to red. We're here. 
Again, you can start any combination of how the reds start. It doesn't make any difference. We're going to go through it. You're going to go nice and slow. All right, we're going to take our time, and in the beginning, let the other player go nice and slow and easy. Are we ready to roll, Doug? Got it all? Okay. So here we go. We're red to red. I go red however I want because there's no wrong. That's the great thing with this. You can't be wrong unless you get the point. And then you weren't really wrong. You just didn't get your point. So I'm going to go red to yellow. Once I get the yellow, I'm going to go for a green. I get the point. Now, it's up to the other player to get rid of it. And notice, in this case, Nicole elected to go for the yellow. You don't have to go for red now. Once that point is scored, go for red or yellow, whichever is closer. And she's going to get that yellow. She goes for the point. She gets the green. Now, you also can start to use other parts of your body. And what I mean by that, instead of me using my hand, I can use my forearm to move her yellow away. And I can go for the green. Now when I go for the green, she wants to use her hand to stop the red. And that's what we want. Stop the red. I go for the yellow because that's really close to her and I hold it. She sees my red coming in. She stops me. She's going to go red, yellow. She goes for green. That's okay. You can go. If you go for that, then it's up to me to stop that. Get it out of the way. And now we're going to start making the exchange. All right? Remember, we're trying to learn self-protection here. And we want you to have fun while you're doing it. Red, yellow. Your yellow is on the form. Use your form. Use your hand. Go slow. Go slow. Let there be an exchange of one hand to the next in order to learn the exchange. Now don't forget to smile. I don't hear anybody laughing. So when that happens, I think we need to speed them up a little bit, Doug. So you can start to pick the pace up to try and get the point. And as we pick the pace up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you go, I'm gonna stop talking, and try and see how many points you can score and the next little bit. Point. Cheer. <laughs> Point. Point. <laughs> okay. How did we do? We did okay? Let's stop right there. Let's take a break. Good. We did good. Everybody did really well. You're starting to see how we're building up, where we're going to with all of this. It's going to lead up because we're going to make it. It's a game. Game's got to have lots of levels. So let's uh, take a little break, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to add more to it. All right, guys, you ready to add more? Smile, yes. you relax, yes. have fun. Remember, go slow. Slow is important. The more you do it slower, the better you're going to feel everything. All right, so go slow. And I'm just going to take a moment now just to remind you, and we, this happens all the time. As you start to get faster and faster, it starts to look like you're just hand slapping or playing patty cakes, and we want to try to avoid that. We always want this constant exchange between our arms with the other player. So. Always be um, you know, mindful of that as we're doing it. And if it gets out of control, just stop, go back to your starting position, and we start all over. And start slow and then speed up. And if it gets out of control, just start slow, speed up all over again. All right, so now, this is where we really want to go. On the level of self-protection and on the whole level of the game, this is really what I want you to learn, what we're doing now. We've introduced the new color, and the color is blue. And the blue is going to be our upper arm. And the upper arm is from the elbow to the shoulder. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to make the safest method of self-protection for you. This is what's going to keep you from getting hit, not scoring a point, and when we bring it to the self-defense application, 
you're going to see how it works. And then you're going to be amazed at how easy it is to go and happen to other people. So what we're going to do, remember, red is your hand. Yellow, your form. Wrist to elbow. Now, this is the only way you're going to score a point at this point. Pardon my double entendre there. All right, so now, as we're going, I'm a poet, almost. Now, you can't score a point unless you get the blue. So if you go to green from yellow, no point. You have to get the blue. Now, you're going to say, why do we do that? The reason is, that's another level of the game later on. We didn't get that far. We're trying to get you to protect yourself, and we want you to do it in the safest manner possible with the least amount of effort and to make you comfortable with it. And this is how you're going to do it. So we're going to start nice and slow, red to red. This time I'm going to use my other hand. I get tired of using that hand. Right? So red to red, we let, the, we let it go. We go red, yellow. We're climbing. Like a monkey climbs a tree, right? One hand over the other. You know this action. Look in your life. You know this. Red, yellow, blue. Once I get blue, I can go to green. Now, the other player, Dave, who's one of my students, who I'm allowed to beat up as much as I want, because he lets me, <laughs> is going to get rid of my point. He goes yellow. From yellow, he goes blue. Blue is a trap. He has me trapped. He goes for green. This is what I'm trying to teach you. He has me trapped right here. I can't just get him if I go for him. That's why it's the safest way. Now he has me trapped. He gets his point, which would be a hit, which would be to any place he wants. He cuts me off. Now what are we going to do? We're going to go back. So i got to get rid of some of this. What do I get rid of? Whatever is closer. In this case, red is really close. Or yellow. Well, he got the point, so I'm not worried about the red. Yellow, blue, green. Hit them any way you want. Get the point any way you want. Use your hands front and back. You don't have to just always use the same. It doesn't always have to be hand to hand. It could be hand over, hand under, forearms back. Watch as we go through. He gets the point. Again, I use yellow to yellow, forearm. I use my hand on the blue, I go for the green, he's gonna stop me from the green. See, here we go, we're going forearm to forearm. I go for the red. I go forearm to upper arm, yellow to blue, to green, to yellow. See, now we're exchanging. And when you see the exchange, how you get to the other color or the next color or from yellow up to blue, do whatever's easy for you. Remember, go slow, and if you start to find you're playing patty cakes, or if your hands are getting out of control, or you're looking like you're slapping each other, go all the way back and start slow. Remember, smile, have a little fun, right? I know that you get all this, right? So as you start to make the exchanges more, you'll start to see. The other thing I want you to notice is we started with my son, and then my son is now doing it with Carla, right, who's a little older. And then my daughter is doing it with Janet. I'm doing it with Dave. Any age can do it with any group, point for Dave, and it doesn't make any difference. Do it with your grandson, your granddaughter, and any skill level. Anybody can do this, and there's no wrong. Like, I just made a mistake. No point for me because I went for the point and I didn't get it. We go, Dave gets blue, he gets his point. Get rid of it, blue, green. All right, now we're gonna start to continue. As we continue, I'm gonna stop talking, make the exchange and see if you can get a point and try it. And if you get too fast, Have fun. <laughs> if you're not having fun, then you're not doing the right game. <laughs> it's got to be, because that's how you're going to remember how to do this. Self-protection. How do you remember to do anything that you're good at? It's fun most of the time. 
Come on, Dave. Go fast. Doug wants to see something good. Wants to see something good? Oh, boy. Oh, I got him. He wasn't fast enough. Let's stop right there. All right. So now let's take all of this. We've learned, we've played the game. We've played the first uh, few levels, three, four levels of the game, all the way up to red, yellow, blue, green. Now we're gonna start to use it and we're gonna start to apply it in the way that it's supposed to be. Multi, multi-leveled, multi-function, multi-ability. All right, I'm the bully in the schoolyard. And I'm gonna go up to Dominic because I don't like the way that he looked at me today and I wanna take his lunch from him. Does that sound familiar? or, oh, my kid is getting pushed around on the bus, or whatever. Yes, we all know that we should not and that we're not encouraging people to pick fights unnecessarily. But sometimes you do need to protect yourself because something happens instantaneously and you're not able to get quickly to an adult. And that's when this situation happens. We're only using this when we have no other alternative left. And we're only using it just enough to defuse the situation. So as a bully, if I want to come up, I push him, I push him one time, okay. You know, second time I come up and push, he's going to come, he's going to say, well, you know, so, you know, he's going to start to block that off. He's going to block, and then he's going to hit. So if I do that, if I push, what do you do? Play the game, right? What are we going to do? We're going to play the game. I go and push you. What are you going to do? Play the game, right? Can I push you? Can I push you? Can I push you? No, let's just play the game. No matter how I do, I want to do this shove. He's just playing the game. That's all that it is. It's as simple as that. That's the simplest, easiest level that we're going to do. One more quick example. It happens all the time, happens to people all ages. I come up, I grab. What are we going to do to escape that? We're going to play the game. Right. Somebody said, well, what if he has a grip? What are you going to do? Go ahead, Don. Hit. Right. And what if the person doesn't leave me alone? Play the game until you score a point. He's being nice. He's being nice. So he's, gonna, he's coming in and he's being nice. But as soon as somebody grabs, what do you do? You hit and score. And it's just that simple. You just played the game. Somebody grabs your arm, right, and you're down, you hit. It's just the tap. The tap, the tap becomes a little bit harder, a little harder, and then go for the point. First, most basic way to be able to use it. Works in any situation. Have someone do it. Try it. Test it. You'll see. Now the next thing that happens, very, very common, is somebody grabbing you. And a lot of times the grab comes to the shoulders, right? Whether it's one-handed or two-handed or up, you know, on the upper body, they grab their arm, they, but it's a grab of the clothing. You know, it's a, say, almost a little bit higher level than a bully push and shove, if you would. You know, a person comes in. So there's a lot of things you can do, and there's no right and there's no wrong, but we're going back to the game. We go back to the game where we did that exercise. Pinkies in, thumbs out. So if I grab, one way to do this is pinkies in or thumbs out, right? So Nicole is going to respond by play, simply playing the game. And when you play the game, she's going to do pinkies in, thumbs out. Go ahead. Go, go, go. All right, two taps by me means that she's hurting me. All right? and, it, and I'm not telling her, and it doesn't make any difference which hand, go ahead. If I'm grabbing and I'm turning, she's going to turn, and you're going to twist off. And you're going to turn, and it's going to work all the time. Now sometimes you're going to get somebody and they're going to say, be a wise guy, or someone who's like five times bigger than you, and they have you grab like that, and they're going to try and grab your hand, and they're going to try and twist it, and they're not going to let you do it, and they're going to fight with you. But what happens when they do that? Well, you kind of know where that hand is, right? So where do we go back to? If you can't get this off, just go back to where you would score the point. 
Oh, because where do you know my hand is? My hand is right there. It's not going to really let go of you. So I could shake you like this all day long. Remember I told you at the very beginning, be nice to people. That a green dot above their shoulders is the attack above the head. Well, where are you going to hit me? If, if, if I can't twist it because that's going on, what am I going to do? Throat, eyes, nose, chin, side of the face, slap to the ear. Remember I said you know all these things. And it's all, it's all going to work. As soon as they do that, they're going to let go. So, but we're going to come on with the twist. And it's going to go, and you're going to twist. And you're not going to wait for somebody else. And if someone does that to you, and they're, they're going to apply it to you, you need to take them all the way and create that pain. So, when you're going and you're doing it, I just want to make sure you can see, it's grab, pinkies in, thumbs out, twist. Yeah. And I'm not faking it either. As you start to do it, and you'll see, you'll be able to do this, and you'll be able to turn. And this isn't pre-choreographed or even pre-set. These things are just, I'm, I'm doing the grab, you see what's going on, but as far as which hand to use and how to do the technique, nothing's been set. So, pinkies in, thumbs out. Somebody grabs, right? So now you've learned, if somebody grabs, they have two things. We learned earlier, you could simply hit off. The second way we do this is we go pinkies in, thumbs out, right? Go ahead, one more time. The next thing that you have happen is somebody wants to punch you. Punch you, open hand palm strike you. I mean, those are the, the common ways that you're going to be hit. Or someone doing that lunging, the boxing thing. Maybe you run into somebody that did some kickboxing or some other martial arts or whatever, you know, or somebody's going to punch. You just play the game. Every time that somebody says, what do I do when? It's going to be play the game. Play the game every single time. Red, yellow, blue, green. Green is the point in the game. It's a hit when we come to our real life scenario. So if I just throw a, sh a, a simple one punch, Janet's response is just play the game. There's no right and wrong. If she doesn't get hit and she hits me, then that was right. I come in. Every single time, it's always going to work because you're going to just play the game is coming across. Part of what you're doing in doing all of this by being able to react in such a calm fashion, you're, you've got people way off guard and they're not expecting that. And that really works to your advantage and gives you a lot of other um, confidence and gives you this ability to be able to re react in a fashion that's appropriate. So even in the scenario, if somebody's just coming back and you can't get to it, you just play the game. You're just doing tap. And you know eventually they're going to, and there you're ready. So it's just, yeah. So you're going to get them, and they're going to be one, two. That's it. One tap, one hit. Fight's over. Actually playing the game up to the first three to four levels is harder than using the game for self-protection. Because it's going to be this quick movement, you're going to see it, you're going to say, what do I need to do? What you need to do? Tap, trap, hit. Game's over. Game's over for the person that's doing this to you and it gives you that ability to then run or move on so that you're safe. And you want that element of surprise to be at your advantage. And that confidence to say, what am I going to do? What do I do? Just play the game. And every time you see somebody's arm, just see red, yellow, blue, green. What are you going to get away from? Red, be careful about yellow. If you can, trap the blue. If not, always go for the hit. So even on worst case scenario, you get rid of one, you come in. If you miss this, that's okay. You still get the hit. And if you're hitting somebody someplace where it's really vulnerable, especially in the head and the neck and the face, you're going to stop them. So 
Play, play the game, and then fool around with your friends. Play, play with your kids. Think of your, your kids. You've seen kids throughout the video. I do this with my son, who's smaller. Just think about things that happen, things that you talk about, things that go on in school, things that you have to, and just, you have this experience. Draw on your own experience in addition to what I'm already giving you, because I'm just giving you a small little baseline to start from. You have it all there, you know all this. I'm just giving you the tools to bring it out and say, oh yeah, I can do that. I was a student of Taekwondo for seven years, and during that time, I learned all kinds of self-defense techniques and sparring. And never once did I ever feel as though if a real situation occurred that I would be able to effectively defend myself. And then I learned how to play the game. And now I actually feel if the situation arose that I could defend myself effectively against any type of attack. So here we are. We made it. I bet you you're still smiling. I bet you you're still laughing. And if you made it all the way through all these other levels, I bet you're pretty amazed at how much you've gotten and how much you've learned and how much you already knew. And I bet your confidence level is through the ceiling. Take all of that and just keep playing this game. You have it all. Red, yellow, blue, green. It's that simple. You know, you look at this and you say, oh, is it really that simple? It really is that simple. I took very, very complicated and complex techniques and theories and made it really, really simple for you. Play. Play with your kids. Play when they're younger. Even if it's just one hand just switching with the other. You play all different because as we get to different stages in our life, we need different stages of this material. And that's what it's supposed to do. It's meant to follow you to whatever you need. And it's family fun. I spend so much time with my kids playing this because it's just fun. My son comes up to me randomly all the time, not wanting to fight, but wanting to play the game. And it's this very nice, controlled, and we laugh, and we figure things out, and we do it laying on the floor and playing on the couch and while we're out in the park. And when you're fun and you're laughing and you're learning, it's getting embedded. You have it. You've got it. Take it home, master it, keep going with it, and then look for more material that we're going to offer you to give you even more confidence to do even more things just by simply playing the game to protect your life.